How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews, back with yet another review. Actually, four reviews. Four reviews in one. Uh, something I've actually been wanting to do for a little bit ever since this all came out. What we're going to do here is a little bit of a comparison of uh, Jenny Cream Ale, one of my favorite beers of all time. A beer I will have at my wedding, which I'll be getting married in about two weeks. Um, and it just came out with kind of like a, um, a variety pack uh, for the Jenny Cream Ale. So what we have here is the Jenny uh, Orange Cream Ale, 2% alcohol by volume, the original Jenny, I should have started with that one, Cream Ale, I forgot what the ABV is on this one, I actually don't know if they actually put it on here or not, I don't remember, I think it's less than six though, uh, then we have their, uh, these are all the kind of part of that kind of pilot batch brew house series, this is their dry hopped mosaic cream ale. I've already done one of their dry hopped versions. Came back from a crowler that uh, Joel actually gave to me. You've seen them on reviews before. And then last but not least, their imperial cream ale, which is 7%. So not that much bigger than the base, but I figured it'd be fun to kind of do these all side by side because I love me some Jenny and yeah, there we go. Uh, actually, uh, this one, I've had it in my fridge because I always have Jenny cream ale. Variety packed, I don't think it comes with the um, the base. I just think it comes with these and these comes courtesy of George. George, uh, you know George, Massive Troll Reviews, the whole nine. He um, uh, gets up in the Rochester way up by where um, Jenny is actually located and uh, he brought me back some. So thank you very much, brother. So yeah, uh, I mean, it says Jenny cream on here, on here, like I said, the orange cream ale. Like I said, 6% on that one. This dry hopped one is 6.4 and then we got seven over there. I'm not gonna read anything else. We're gonna get to it. I have four glasses here. These are not dirty. These are just cloudy because it is infinitely humid out right now. It just rained like crazy. I figured, oh, it looks so pretty outside. Let me go do an outside review and it's so brutally humid. I got a fan going on over here because I'm dying. So anyway, let's give these a pour, see what she's got. So you're probably not gonna see a ton. Well, you actually see the beer, the, um, the actual um, humidity, humidity or that kind of glaze in the glass should go away pretty quick actually after I pour these in there. Do the honey one. We'll pour them all at first. Give them all a look see, a little looky poo, and uh, then we'll actually dive into each one and tell you what I think. Um, um, the dry hopped version, which I'm pouring right now, I actually don't know uh, if the one I dry hopped version. I don't know if it's the one I had. I don't know if it was dry hopped mosaic. I forget which one I did have. Um, but yeah, the little lefty pour in this one. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about right there. So I'm probably gonna get some nice bugs, little, little mosquitoes. I was gonna say it didn't hurt anybody, but yeah, it's called Zika. No shit will get you. So anyway, let's do this. Let's throw these on so you guys can understand where we're at as far as what beers are what. Can you see all that stuff? There we go. Perfect. Um, so what do we have here? And actually, oddly enough, I didn't plan it this way, but it looks like it does go from lighter to darker. Uh, you have the base here, just rich kind of uh, golden color. Um, particulate float around in there, but almost essentially microscopically. Or micro, mic, magnifying glass clear, thank you very much. Uh, same thing with this one, but for me, it seems like there is just a tinge darkness to that honey cream. Uh, the dry hopped version... Um, even just a touch darker, maybe with a, a even so more subtler haze to it, even though it is definitely not hazy in the imperialized version, a little dirty glass mafia, and again, clear, but you're kind of going from like light to a little bit kind of darker uh, as far as malt color. So as far as nose goes, it's Jenny Cream, baby. You're getting that quintessential kind of like... Uh, kind of cream ale kind of vibe, a little bit of kind of a maltiness, a little bit of a Pilsner malt, maybe with a little bit of kind of breadiness to it, nothing too crazy, then you get that kind of cream ale kind of nose on there. Uh, it's, you know, it's Jenny Cream Ale. If you've ever smelt a quintessential cream ale before, you know what you're getting into. So, yeah, no surprises there. You can go watch my in-depth review, my 1000 review is Jenny Cream Ale. Okay, the honey one, um, it doesn't come off like honey, like, um, like actual, like honey from a bee. It comes off more like honeysuckle, like a little bit floral. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool, actually. Yeah, it's got this kind of nice orange honey kind of thing going on in there. Hmm, I dig that. That's pretty cool. Again, it's more of an orange blossom, honeysuckle, flowery, floral thing as opposed to a bright citrus orange in a kind of... Oh, there's a little bit of creamsicle in there. Now I'm getting it. And that little bit of kind of honeysuckle more than actual honey itself. Um, dry hopped mosaic. 
Oh, well, that's like a punch in the face of Mosaic right there. You're just getting a big, huge dankness, a little bit of cattiness going on. A nice kind of sweetness. It's balanced nice. I think that little bump of ABV on top of that kind of bumped up malt bill kind of just works perfectly. So there's a nice balance to it. Yeah, just big, nice, robust hops. That's, I mean, it's in your face for how big the beers are and going from that end to this end. It's big, stark difference, but yeah. Yeah, you definitely get that kind of dry hopping, that nice kind of mosaic with a little bit of fruitiness and a little bit of citrus, and that kind of like, can get a little cappy from it. It's more of a Simcoe thing typically for me, but I'm getting it in there. Imperial. Not much in there. I mean, I got that big punch of hops from this one, so I don't know if that's kind of beaten back a little bit of uh, the nose in there, but it just smells like a slightly more robust version of the base cream ale, which is pretty much what it is. So let's dive in. OG, baby. Cheers. This Jenny cream, you know, nice, crackery, more crackery, more biscuity than I remember. There's, there's, there's a little bit of metallic kind of astringency to this one. This one might be a little bit of an older can. I might have bought this a while ago. Still nice. Quintessential cream ale. Chuggable, drinkable, tasty. Summer beer. Humidity beer, let's put it that way. Orange honey. Mm. Definitely getting more of that kind of cream sickle vibe in there it's a nice kind of big nutty malt to it too because that really kind of is cool i don't know if the actual malt base it says actually on there it says um let's see malts is two row and six row blend so i mean you're getting a nice rich kind of nutty malt there with that kind of nice kind of orange cream sickleness um again that honeysuckle thing comes through a little bit but that orange kind of trumps it it's not overly sweet it doesn't get too confectionery but it definitely comes off like orange cream sickle more than anything else for me Mm. That's good stuff. Dry hop mosaic. It just works so perfectly. I dry hop and that cream ale just makes so much sense. I mean, when I did the dry hop version that Joel brought back me in a crowler, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. This one doesn't seem as robust as the one that he brought back, but it's definitely you know you're drinking a nice dry hopped beer. Now, does it lose a little bit of its cream ale vibes because of it? Maybe. Um, but I, I still think you're getting a really nice, well-done beer with a nice kind of purposeful portion of dry hopping. It's not over the top. It's not like two by four to the face hops, but enough to keep kind of keep you interested while at the same time remaining drinkable. Let's put on least the Imperial. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like there's a little bit, and maybe it's a residue from this one over here, but it seems like there is a little bit more aggressive hops going on in this one, too. Nothing too crazy, just a bit more bittering. Um, it's definitely a little bit more robust, a little bit denser, um, a little bit slicker in the tongue as opposed to being creamy. It's a little bit more slicker, but a fun beer. I still like the OG better, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice, tasty. They're all exceptionally well made i've always loved me some jenny cream ale just to see the variants that they did and decided to do with this honestly it's pretty freaking cool um i'm gonna say uh it, you know it's probably hard to pick my favorite one of the bunch i might go with just the dry hop version just because it adds that extra element to it um uh, the, you know the orange cream honey uh is pretty cool too i like the og i would probably put the imperial last because it brings a little bit more to the table than enough to make me warrant that kind of ABV bump. I think this is more around 4% and change. Maybe low 5 as opposed to 7. But yeah, I'd probably go 1, tie for 2, 4. If I were going to rank them on my personal kind of awesome-tastic scale. But yeah, it's they're fun beers. They're tasty. They're delicious. This is Jenny Cream Ale, baby. Um, so yeah, now we got to do the uh, prerequisite. We're going to cuvee these suckers because, you know called science it's not all about shoulda it's all about coulda oh yeah baby that's how you do it that's how you do that high-end cuvee stuff that's how they do it over there in the fancy pants lands cheers
Yeah. Not that good. Um, and not that it's bad, but you just get a literal amalgamation of all four of them together. Not necessarily a bad thing, but they all have their own merits individually. Um, just had to do it, because I did all four of them on screen. But, yeah, super cool little um, uh, mix pack. I mean, it's Jenny. If you see them, chances are I think you'll see these on your shelves. And I, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised to pick this up, especially as a summer chugger. They're fun. It's Jenny Cream Ale. I love it. End of story. So let's talk about it. Are these some of the better cream ales that I've had? As like, yes. I mean, especially uh, the Dry Hop Mosaic Down. Nothing wrong with the Imperial. It's just a little bit kind of meh for me. Um, it, it, they're great. I'm sure they're a killer price point. I'm sure you can get them wherever Jenny is sold. And leave you with, if you like what we like these, if you like good beer without pretension, that's pretty much where Jenny Cream and Jenny in general kind of um, lands. Uh, the brewery itself makes fantastic beers. I think they do well. Their Pilot Bat series is pretty fun stuff, especially the closer you get to the brewery, the more unique stuff you see. Or if you actually get to the brewery, you can get some pretty cool stuff. So um, for them to do this and kind of tweak a quintessential northeast beer and tweak it not just in a goofy way as a sticky way is a way to kind of let's take this thing and kind of flip it around and, and sell some beers just for the sake of selling beers they actually mean nice well-made thoughtful beers out of them it's pretty freaking cool so if you like that about beer you'll dig these suckers so there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you enjoyed the camera getting slightly darker and darker as it's gonna a little bit dark out but yeah uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review down there if you want to talk about it. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude out. Uh, Beer Massive. Uh, that's my podcast. I'm taking a little time off, about two to three weeks because of my wedding. But I go there and check it out, brew interviews, stuff like that. When I come back from my wedding and I come back from my honeymoon, I have a whole bunch of stuff coming on. Got a bunch of great breweries in and outside the area. I think you're going to be pretty fucking pumped about that. So go check those out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're drinking these Jenny Cream Ale in some iteration. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.